Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We want to practice the game show. I am Mike C. And I am Fred Watt. Right, Fred? What are we talking about today, brother? It's all on you. Yeah, so I I did an impromptu uh, post on this a couple of days ago. Went live. And it's something that really concerns me about um, what Walmart, some of Walmart practices are now. Um, and we're talking about showing your receipt as you exit out the door, right? Um, which I don't do. I don't do when I, when I come up to the door and the, you know, the person is standing there say, can I see your receipt? I just walk straight out. I, I say no. And I walk straight out. Okay. Um, this to me is an invasion of your privacy and it's more of a flawed system because what they try, the reason why they have this policy is they saying that, you know, they have uh, amounts of theft and all of that. But you have cameras all over these places. They have cameras somewhere where you can't even see that you're uh, that you're being filmed and you don't even know that you're being filmed. Right. And the thing is that if you actually stole something, especially if you go through self checkout and that that's the thing that irritates me most going through self checkout. And then they still ask me to show them the receipt. Um, and that you have somebody there watching you, especially if you bring a big box item, they're clocking you. You bring a TV up to self checkout and check it out uh, and, and scan it. The person that's watching all them self checkouts, they're ignoring every other self checkout, but the one that you're at. Right. So, don't tell me that you don't know that you paid for this receipt and we're not doing the banana trick where you put a banana uh, skew over the TV and then it rings up $1 and then you get to walk out. Right. So people were doing that and I guess they, a lot of people was getting away with it. But when you see that thing come up two, 300 bucks and you see TV or whatever on it, the person that's watching that self checkout, they know that you have have scared that scanned that, right? And then they see that you have been paid for it. Um that that you've paid for it. There's also registers and servers that's in the back that keeps track of all those transactions that happen at every register. It tells you how much you spent, what time you spent, how much money you gave how much money you supposed to get back. So they have detailed transactions um, of, of these transactions, right? So for me, for walking out of Walmart, I'm not showing you my receipt because that, that to me is evasion of privacy. And once I purchase that item, it becomes mine. It's no longer Walmart, right? So um, th- that's the thing that I really have a problem with and it is policy. It is policy. It's not law. It is policy. It's not the law to show your receipt before you walk out the door. If it's a law, then is it a misdemeanor or is it a felony? Which category does that fall under? It does not. And I've even seen video of a police officer standing at the door when a customer walks out after they've been asked to show their receipt and the officer is telling them there's nothing that we can do about it. Um, you know, uh, he said, no, you know, if you believe that he did something, then, you know what I'm saying? We would do something about it. But he said that, no, you know, for, for something like that. Now I will say if you're going inside the Sam's clubs or BJ's or one of those membership stores, when you sign that contract, you do sign a contract to say upon your release, uh, departure of the store. I don't know if that's right. verbatim, but you are required right. to show your receipt before you walk out. That True. that is is if you go in the BJ's or Sam's Club, but not Walmart or Target. Um, so, Mike, have have you been in a situation where you walked out? Because I'm quite quite sure that this is a dumbass question Uh but have you been in the situation where you walked out of walmart or walmart and been asked for a receipt all for all for like the little simplest of items and have you shown it or did you just bypass and walk out 
Every time they ask me for my receipt, Fred, I show them. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. What's your problem? <laughs> nah. Many times they've asked before. I'm like, no. Or, or I just keep on walking like I don't hear. Yeah. Because I'm. No, I don't have no time. You saw me go through self checkout. I don't have no time to be up there going through my bag or let's say I put it in my wallet. I'm not taking it back out of my wallet. You saw me through there, so and they can't stop you. No. So, so yeah, I've I've walked through it. Because I'm not waiting in line while, while eight or nine people. No, this ain't no Costco's. This ain't no Sam's or nothing like that. That is not a type of store. This is. It's not a a wholesale club or anything like that. With those wholesale clubs, you got to stand in line. That's their policy. Mm-hmm. But far as anything like that, the regular department stores and stuff like that. No, you don't have to do that. All right, and and this is where people will be like, "It's petty. Why you do it? Um, they're just doing their jobs." Again, yeah, it. Yeah. It's an invasion of your privacy because I don't know. I don't want you to know what I brought. You know what I'm saying? What if, you know, I get to the point where I got, I start buying the pens and you know what I'm saying? That's further down the years. I will be going inside of Walmart and buying the pens. You know what I'm saying? I need a price check on an extra big size. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, we got somebody right here by the door trying to leave out with some extra big, big depends. I, <laughs> I, I don't want you to know that I can't control my bladder. What exactly. business of I yours? I understand, yeah. That's, that's real stuff, though. Yeah, I now, understand. Now you're looking at me as I walk, as I'm walking out the door, and you might be saying, oh, he may need to go change, or he's sagging, he <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, you might You're need. Sagging, to, right? You might need to be changed or something like that. I I Look, might be. You know what I'm saying? If I can't make it to the bathroom and I gotta go, I'm gonna go in my depends and then I'm gonna go in there and change my. Uh, if I don't have any more depends and I gotta go, I don't want to lose my place in line. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go just like a baby. And <laughs> once I get there. I'll go inside the restroom, pull the table down, get on top of it, and then I'll change myself. But I don't want you to know that I'm buying, you know, th- those type of products. That's an invasion of privacy, you know. Right. And what they're saying is bec- they're they're checking this stuff because it does not fit in a bag. So they need to see the receipt. Well, yeah, make, the- make a bag big enough for a 32-inch or 40-inch or 80-inch TV. So you you don't have a bag for a forty inch or eighty inch TV? Okay, well you have all these cameras up here, and you know check that out because every time I go to Walmart now, especially I go to the ghetto ass, um, even La Plata is getting ghetto. La Plata, Maryland. Oh. They I thought Clinton was bad, but Clinton is like the um no Clinton is 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 hood, right? That's the ghetto part. Clinton Clinton, Maryland. Branch Avenue. That's that's the right. ghetto that's the ghetto based Walmart. That's ghetto managers, ghetto cashiers, ghetto patrons, even um, but just ghetto office workers. That whole place is ghetto fied. Then once you get up to well, before you get to La Plata, there's another Walmart in Wardorf. That's kinda like the the Largo Lake Arbor type ghettoism of of um of hoodness. But then when you get to the La Plata um Walmart, that's like having a white friend that grew up around black people all their life. But they so extra, they more extra than you. You know what I'm saying? That's how La Plata Walmart is. You understand? So Every time I go inside that store or even any Walmart, I go to the self-checkout, no matter what I buy. I go to the self-checkout and I go, hey, man, uh, come here for a second. I'm like, look, how much this is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And any discrepancies, I have them to correct that. And I'll say, look, you see me pay for it, right? It was what? $400 or whatever. You see me pay for it, right? I was like, I tell your man's up front. That I'm not paying for, I'm not showing you no receipt. I'm like, tell them that before I walk out the door. And if they decide not to do that, then that's on them. 
I have even been in the the little play of the Walmart when you walk in and customer service is on your left hand side. When I was building my um, you know that TV that I got on the wall. As soon as you come in the house, I made it into a movie poster. Well, when when I went up there, I bought the TV from Walmart, right? And I purposely brought it from customer service. And I said, look, you see me pay for this TV, right? And she was like, yeah. I was like, well, when I walk out that door, I'm not showing that lady no receipt. So you better tell her. She was like, well, yeah, she's just doing a job. I said, is that policy or law? She was like, yeah, I understand. I was like, good. I'm walking out of here. You know what I'm saying? And then that's what I did. I brought the TV and walked right up out of that joint. And, you know what I'm saying, thankfully, she did not pursue me. But And, and people have been sued. Walmart has been sued over this. <laughs> they have been sued, and they have lost every case. Because, like I said, when you buy a product from Walmart, that becomes yours, right? Yep. And you, you don't have to show a receipt that is not law. That is policy. That is Walmart policy, but you don't follow policy from Walmart because you didn't sign anything from Walmart. You didn't sign anything from Walmart saying that if I shop here, I will show you my receipt once I exit. You're not in Costco's. You're not in BJ's. You're not in none of these membership type stores. So therefore, you don't need to show your receipt. It's policy, not law. If it's a law, Ask the person, is this is this a law? If they say yeah, ask them, is it a misdemeanor or a felony? And what's the statute? You you can't uh, tell me what's the statute? How many years? How, man, get out of my face! And I would demonstrate y'all a walk out of Walmart pretty soon. Y'all just stay tuned. Um, the next time I go inside Walmart to buy something, uh. I would demonstrate. I'll buy a large item. Um, yeah. And I'll, yeah, I'll be petty. But that's about it, Mike. That's it, bro. Yeah. You all the shame, bro. I love doing these shows. <laughs> 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 all right, y'all. So, like always, you guys can hit us up at the game show at gmail.com. That's the game show with the net. Don't forget to have a Facebook store page to follow all the prices. Don't forget to hit us up every time. Don't forget to subscribe. Become a game show member. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when we drop videos like these. Tell people about the game show and what we do here. Thanks, y'all. And please remember to like and subscribe to all our social media networks. Oh, Mike, you want any more ducks? You want some ducks? And we'll see you next time on WWCF. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? We, I, I got. We want the fact. I, I got. I got some ducks. I got. I got two additional gut ducks, and I got two additional geese. Looking for a good home. Gamer show. All right. We we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>